Hello all, this is Jetta Crow with another haul video for the week of March 9th, 2023. We're going to kick it off with the comic books, starting with Image Comics. From the Massive Verse, we have Rogue Sun, number 11. Moving on to Dynamite, we have Cherish, number 5. We also have Deja Thoris, number 1, new relaunch for this character. And as always, I get the Lisner cover whenever available. And wrapping up the comic books, we have Vampirella versus Red Sonya number five. And as always, I get the Lisner cover whenever available. All right, I do have a couple of manga books here to cover. I talked about the, the series a couple months ago, but here we have Go Go Loser Ranger volume two. And this particular series takes the Sentai genre and uh, twists it around where the rangers in this series are the bad guys and our protagonist is actually uh, one of the monsters. Uh, kind of a grunt. A, a putty, if you will. A mook. <laughs> but the, oh yeah, that, that, that was volume three I just showed you. So, yep, so I've got volume two and volume three. That gets me caught up with the English adaption of the series. Uh, volume 4 will be coming out uh, in a couple of months. So, pretty good. Pretty good. I do have a couple of Blu-rays. First, I got this movie on sale from Amazon for like 4 bucks, And it is One Hour Photo. It's a film from uh, 2002. And it is a rare, dark performance from uh, the late, great Robin Williams. I don't know if you guys are old enough to remember back in the day when we took pictures with actual cameras that used film right, instead of our phones and stuff and you would take the film negatives to a photo processing place and then they would make the pictures for you. Well, in this movie Robin Williams plays a guy that pro develops the, the pictures but uh, he gets real creepy about the pictures he's developing of uh, the, the families and such and turn gets all stalkery here's the inside really dark really good movie though and oh, actually got a little bit of artwork on the disc that's uh, rare for a mainstream release because this was from 20th Century Fox usually the main releases are tend to be plain Jane but that, I'm glad that one's got a little bit of artwork on it and finally, wrapping up the haul for this week, I got one more Blu-ray. This was released from, uh, oh, Discotech. Discotech. Sorry, I was blanking on the name. I, I love their products, too. But we have Common Rider Black. This is the complete series. Um, I believe technically this is a Heisei series, though we it, it gets lumped together with Showa. Or actually, the Heisei era might have started with Black RX. I know... I, anyway, yeah, they're, they're, he gets lumped in with the Showa stuff. Because the, the Heisei, they, they officially count it with the uh, Kuga. That was the 2000 series. But the, anyway, this is the from the 80s. Um, pretty cool series. I watched the fan subs of this many years ago. Let's go ahead and take the slipcover off. It actually got different artwork on the case itself. Really solid series. Uh, one of my favorite opening theme songs for uh, a Common Rider series. And uh, lots of bike riding action. And it's a series that introduces Shadow Moon, one of the most iconic evil riders in the entire franchise. Uh, there's disc one. Disc 2. I, I appreciate that they actually have different artwork on each of the discs. Unfortunately, the Kyle Ryder releases from Shout Factory just have the same artwork on every disc, but I'm glad Discotech's taking that little extra step in the presentation. So, really cool series. Uh, the sequel to this series, Kyle Ryder Black RX, is coming out from Discotech a little bit later this year. And that one will be even more recognizable for even people that maybe not follow Tokusatsu that closely because Black RX was the one that was adapted into Saban's Masked Rider which was a spinoff of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers back in the 90s. But 
awesome, awesome series. Glad to have Kamen Rider Black in the Blu-ray collection. I'm just happy that we're getting a lot of Kamen Rider in the U.S. Because right now we got Black, we got Kuga, we got Ryuki, we got Zero One, all on Blu-ray. Then we also have the Kamen Rider Zero One comic book series, and we have Kuga, the Kuga manga being brought over. So it is a good time to be a Kamen Rider fan in the U.S. And that's just the physical releases. I mean, you go on the streaming services, you got Tokushatsu, uh, the Toy International Channel, and you got all these Kamen Rider movies and shows available legitimately uh, for Western audiences. So, really a good time to be a fan. Okay, that is it for this week, guys. I hope you have a great week. Have a great weekend. There's a video right there. There's a video right there. And you can subscribe right there. You have a great one. Later.